Hey everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going to be painting a little gold, red, and black buckle. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm super excited to get into it. It's a really simple painting and it's definitely kid friendly and it's a part of my 8 holiday mini painting series. Um, so I've already posted two. This is the third one. Um, in the series and it's super simple. I absolutely love it and those are all of the eight that I'm doing um, So yeah, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on our holiday series um, This is the palette that you need to complete any of the eight um, For the Santa's buckle we will literally just be using the red black and gold um, This is so simple. Um, you don't really have to like mix any you can just use the paint straight out of the tube This is how I draw um, the buckle. I just do two horizontal lines you can use a ruler or a straight edge um, to make your life a little bit easier and then you just kind of draw like a box around it for the buckle and yeah it's super super simple um, and you can even add like more detail or buttons if you wanted to this as well or you could add like that little hook in the buckle and yeah so I'm just drawing it out with a pencil and then these panels are four by four and I got them from Michaels um, but you could use any pencil or really like anything. You could do it on paper, you could do it on a larger canvas if you want. Um, and then here I'm just drawing circles to show if you wanted to put like some buttons, that would be kind of cute too. Um, I opted for no buttons on mine, but you could totally add whatever you want. And then um, you can even like erase a little bit so that it doesn't like the pencil marks don't show through in your painting. And so yeah, so we'll just get into the colors. So I'm just kind of laying my panel. I actually taped it to this wood so that it wouldn't move around. Um, and I'm taking some red, and you could use red straight out of the tube, or you can, if your red is a little too bright and you want something a little more like velvety um, and deeper, then just add a little bit of green to your red. But this is the same red that I used from my holiday gnome um, painting, which was our first one. It's super cute. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. But yeah, and then I'm using a square brush here, and I'm just going from left to right doing some horizontal brush strokes to really like create um a nice like smooth seamless finish um i also mixed in a little bit of slow dry medium to my palette but it's not necessary that's just so from the time that i painted my gnome to the santa buckle um my paints didn't dry but if you're painting these at home that should not be an issue unless you're painting all of them at once and I like the square brush for this one because as you can see right here, like you can kind of press your brush against it and you can get like clean lines. There's a lot of like um, bright angles and geometric shapes in this one. So it's a little bit easier with a square brush. The paints that I'm using are from Liquitex, and they came in a set from Michaels. I will link them in the description below. And then the brush is just um, also from like a variety pack. I think it was like a pack of 25 brushes, and I got those from Michaels. And um, the board that I'm like painting on this wood um, is just like a kind of like a little easel. You could use anything, or honestly, you could just paint this flat on the table. And I'm using a palette my palette is like a paper palette um i usually would use like a, a glass palette and you can scrape it off um but the paper palette is nice because it's easy cleanup you can throw it away when you're done and then you don't have to clean a glass palette so i have been switching off between a glass palette and a paper palette and then the palette knife came in that set too it's a plastic palette knife 
um, that came in the set of 25 brushes. But for this one, where it, since we're not really mixing any colors, you can just use the colors straight out of the tube, so no need to mix. And you can also mix with your paint brushes, so if you don't have a palette knife, just mix it with, you can just mix colors with your paint brushes. So I'm getting all my edges. And then once the red is done, we will um, dive into the buckle and the belt. And also, like, if your red is too thin, just give it about five minutes to dry, and you can go over it with another layer. So I switched to a round brush here, and I'm using the gold paint. And I switched just because it was a little bit thinner so that I could get into the buckle. Um, the flat square brush that we were using was a little bit too um, large for it for the space so I'm just going in with my round brush and filling this in. This gold paint is from um, a brand that I found on Amazon. It's called Pebio um, and it's really really nice. It covers so well. It's really thick and you really only need one coat of this paint like you can even kind of see how thick it is on screen but it's so beautiful and metallic it, like the camera doesn't do it justice but it's really really pretty so i definitely recommend this paint um actually i um have like a bunch on my amazon wish list so i will definitely be reordering from this brand i love the quality that you get from this and I'll link that in the description below too. And now we move on to the black. I just rinsed off my brush and dipped straight into the black paint. And then we'll fill this in here and then in the center on the edges in the center. Um, and then we will be done. So one thing with the red is that you can like kind of over paint a little bit. And then by the time you're done with your buckle, the red paint will be dry. And then you could just kind of paint over it with black. And then you can get the exact thickness that you want and you don't have to worry about any gaps.
So here I'm going back in with the gold just to kind of like touch up some of the edges where the paint may have overlapped. So I'm making sure that everything is smooth and the lines are nice and straight. And then I'm doing vertical lines on the left and the right side and horizontal on the top and the bottom. Um, just to give it like a little bit of like shape and um, like a little kind of like a pattern. But yeah, so I'm just smoothing that out so it looks kind of like... Um, and then this is the final piece again. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's like really cute and simple and just like a fun, relaxing way to spend time this holiday season. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.